Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to give you some tips how to overcome a bad habit. I'm Rita and today it's all about you. The first thing to do is to identify what triggers um, your uh, habit that you want to break. Try to understand when this habit started, what time of the day, in which situations, if it's other people involved, and try to be really specific in um, the answers for these questions. Understand and be really clear why you want to make this kind of change. Be focused on your purpose and uh, on your goals, which is really important to help you run into um, a line and not really be distracted with the, uh, other things that they are not so important. Get support, find somebody that you trust, it can be a friend, a family member, somebody that uh, you really think it can really help you. And this person is the one that you will call or that you will talk about all of your frustrations during the process. To break a habit, uh, it really requires a very powerful will, which sometimes is not very easy to keep in a daily life routine. So practicing mindfulness, it can help you develop awareness uh, uh, about the things that surround you and help you focus on your internal needs instead of only your wishes and desires. It can also help you develop a new, a new vision of your new habit or a different perspective of uh, the habit that you want to break. Replace one bad habit for something that is much more healthy or much better for you is a very common and used technique that works for most of the people. It is also important not to enter in a spiral of uh, excessive behaviors, compulsion or abusive, particularly in the use of the new good habit, because then this new good habit will probably transform in um, a long run into a bad habit and into something that it will be uh, not very positive for you. Leave reminders, usually small notes or uh, small messages for yourself that make you remember how important is this journey and why you are doing all of this and uh, uh, what is your main goal. Because usually this can help you when you feel a little bit down, when you are having these moments that you don't know um, if you should uh, continue with this uh, uh, journey or not and this kind of gives you the uh, extra motivation and the extra reasons for you to understand why you are doing this. It depends on the situation but most of the times you have to be prepared for having a slip up because uh, um, it is normal in uh, some uh, bad habit changing process that uh, uh, it is not really happening um, quickly but uh, it is a process and during this process it is normal that uh, um, sometimes you just uh, slip into um, uh, the old habit, the bad habit and it is important for you to understand that this is very um, common and that uh, um, you have to be prepared for not to be totally demotivated when this happened, for you to be able to deal with the frustration that this can bring and to, for you to be strong enough to forgive yourself and eventually change the approach that you are using in order for you to, to uh, stay in the same track and to reach your own goals. Another thing that is important is for you not to be too rigid, rigid uh, on yourself and allow yourself to uh, make mistakes and eventually be a little bit more demotivated but try to work on it until you feel a little bit more comfortable and understand that nothing is uh, uh, totally achievable in a quick, quicker way. 
so everything has to have their own uh, specific time and this process will have their own time too understand also that even you you have your own timing so um, doesn't compare yourself to others that uh, have uh, the same process in um, a much quicker way another thing that is important for you to understand that you have to start small and uh, have small goals during the, your path changing a bad habit is very very uh, difficult and uh, if you don't do uh, small changes and uh, if you don't aim only for small changes from time to time you will never get uh, to um, the, the the goal that you want to reach because you need realistic goals things that are much more um, easier to achieve in order for you to stay motivated otherwise you will be much more frustrated and demotivated and this will be much more harder on you visualize what uh, you want to uh, achieve visualize your success reward yourself in all steps of the way and keep uh, believing that uh, this is possible and that you can really achieve this kind of things. Breaking a bad habit is very difficult but it's also a commitment, not just uh, to others but particularly to ourselves. It is really leaving our comfortable zone and doing something totally different. And most of the times this is not just frustrated but this is scared too. But if you really believe it and you have the support that you need, you will be totally amazed um, in the, uh, the things that you can achieve with this kind of techniques. And so that's all for today guys, I hope you like it, I hope you subscribe to the channel, leave a thumbs up, share with a friend, comment if you want and I'll see you next time for another video.